we have a responsibility to uphold this momentum and continue this going away. Not the case. I have two broad messages. This the industry is a lot bigger than you probably think it is. The Tech Center can continue to grow in New York with the help of the mayor focusing on access. We need 100% of the population of New York City to have access to low-cost, high-speed wired broadband for residential and business use. As a technology CEO is actively hiring, it's my belief that New York needs to focus on a robust plan for creating more tech education programs. The New York City Open Data website has enabled companies to build new tools and applications that have great social impact, but we need to listen to what other data sets the community wants access to and continue to lead in open data access. You drive along the Brooklyn and Queens Expressway, from Bay Ridge all the way to the South Bronx, you pass tens of millions of square feet in beautiful old industrial buildings. What's it being used for? Storage. How do we incentivize those guys to convert that property into high employment uses? Consideration now that you can have live work in ways that you didn't used to have around heavy, noxious manufacturing. With the building code, it's very hard to convert a lot of these old buildings uh, into innovation economy uses, uh, given the code. And there is an enormous menu of opportunities for developers to choose from financing resources about affordable housing. Very few if you're interested in creating industrial manufacturing jobs. What we need now is space for um, uh, entry-level startups. That's much cheaper space. It has to be in close proximity to the sources of innovation, to the academic med medical centers and universities, but there are many places that fit the bill. Lab space won't be sufficient if we want it to go fast. We'll need financial incentives. When a good idea is hatched in New York, if a venture capitalist wants to invest in it, they'll probably go to Boston. Why? If you put your shingle on the street and one day you can hire the CEO, the chief scientific officer, and the glassware washer. In New York, you have to import all those people. The only way you can convince people to start companies here is to create financial incentives. There are a lot of people that want to come to New York and see the fashion industry, but you can't really see it. Uh, somewhere missing in the garment district is a live real-time museum where virtually all of us that have, in, uh, that have designers that are making product should be showing our current collections in a way that actually increases total tourism to the city. City-sponsored talent and development is very important as well. There are opportunities for fellowships, for programs that bring together the, uh, the institutional learning side of the industry with the commercial and business side of it as well.